What's up, YouTube? This is Mike, the Detroit Borg, with a close look at iOS 5.1 for the iPod Touch, iPhone, and iPad. Now, in addition to a variety of bug fixes meant to improve battery life and system performance, several new features have also been added, so let's take a look. First up is Japanese language support for Siri, which joins French, German, and three flavors of English. Apple has warned that this will be rolling out Ooh. gradually over the next few weeks, so Japanese customers may need to wait until the end of March before they have access. A more controversial change is a new 4G indicator for AT&T iPhone 4S customers. The 4G indicator will now appear to customers operating in the carrier's HSPA Plus network. Generally, HSPA Plus is not accepted as a 4G spec, but simply a revision of 3G. The accepted spec for 4G is LTE, which is capable of 73 megabits per second download speed, while HSPA Plus maxes out at about 21 megabits per second. Although that's significantly faster than the 3.1 and 7.2 two downlink speeds for the older 3G specs. Also new for iPhone and iPod Touch is a quick access button for the camera on the lock screen. So instead of double tapping the home button to bring up the camera control, all you have to do now is swipe up on the icon on the lock screen to activate the camera. This is a feature not available on any of the iPads. Speaking of iPad, the second and third gen iPad do get a revised camera app which more conveniently locates the shutter release on the right hand side, no matter if you're holding it in portrait or landscape mode. The lower third, where the shutter release button used to be, is now translucent instead of opaque. Also updated is face detection, which can now highlight all detected faces. Now This is a feature only available for the iPhone 4S and iPad third generation. Now, once you've taken all these photos and synced them to your photo stream in iCloud, iOS 5.1 finally allows you to individually delete them. Deleting photos will remove them only from the photo stream, not your local library. Photo stream libraries are synced across all devices, so once you delete them on one device, they will disappear from all of them. So that works, of course, on your Apple TV, your Mac, and your iPad, iPhone, and iPod Touch. New in the music app is Genius Mixes and Playlists for iTunes Match customers. This allows your iTunes Match library to be indexed by the Genius feature. Songs automatically selected by the feature will download from iTunes Match as they are played, or you can choose Download All to speed it up. The iPad also picks up new audio controls for podcasts and audiobooks, most of which are carried over from iPod and iPhone. This includes a 30-second replay button and the ability to speed up or slow down playback. Audio has also been enhanced for TV shows and movies on the iPad, so sound is louder and clearer. And finally, iPad adds four new wallpapers, one of which is the new default wallpaper on the third generation iPad with the Retina display. So that's going to do it for me, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.